and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Frostbite to kick our rank up Sunday stream off. This is going to be our, our first deck. We're playing four uh, very good decks, four decks that I uh, would recommend playing for ranking up. Um, but, you know, not necessarily the most popular decks. Karma Lux is pretty popular. But anyway, back to our deck. As y'all know, this is my favorite rank up deck. We've been playing this same list since day one of whenever the set came up. What is up, Rankler, with the tier three sub? Y'all get some hype in the chat. Rankler saying, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and happy Sunday. Thank you, Rankler. Tier three sub. Tier three subs, that counts for three subs. Do you know why? Because I can, I can put whatever numbers I want up there. So there we go. Now we have four out of five for the day. Um, nice, you finally downloaded it on mobile, Runeterra. Heck yeah, it is awesome. Um, all right, but yeah, so our deck, the only thing that I'm thinking about changing a little bit uh, is I'm thinking about taking out one Caught in the Cold and putting in a third Sejuani, because Sejuani is pretty awesome. And Caught in the Cold's, you know, it's not bad. It's kind of, it's mediocre. Um, but there there are times where it can be really, really good. But there's a lot of games like where it doesn't do a whole lot. It does help us level up our Ashes even faster. It's not, it's not bad. Like, I don't really want to take it out, but I kind of want to put in a Sejuani, which does the exact same thing. But it costs four more mana, and you also get a 5-6 Overwhelm Champion that's, like, cool and stuff for four extra mana. Um, so we'll, we'll play a game first, though. I may change that here in a little bit. Hey, what's up, WQ? Gift in the sub. Thanks, WQ. Anyway, let's, let's get going. Let's play some games. Ooh, we're at 191. Let's see if we can break into double digits today. That's the goal. All right, so that's... So we already hit a sub goal today. Let's mark that down. So the sub goals matter because whenever we hit 10 total sub goals, they're just five five subs during a stream. When we hit 10 total sub goals, I do a 12 hour stream to celebrate. And we are over halfway there. Whoa, whoa. Living on a prayer. So we're at six out of 10 now. So control matchups are like basically this deck is great against mid-range decks. Control matchups can be where we where we struggle because the frostbite cards aren't usually very good against control. Thanks, WQ. Yeah, the difference between tier one, two, three with the subs, basically it's it's just how much you would like to uh, pay per month and support per month. Like a tier one sub is it's five dollars a month. Um, tier two is ten dollars, and tier three is twenty-five dollars. How is this deck versus sea monsters? Very good against sea monsters. That's a very good matchup. That's one of yeah. That that can be a very good matchup. You're going to be like you you're lower to the ground than them and can go underneath them, and they don't have a lot of removal for your stuff, which is really good for like your ash. You can have Ash, like Frostbite, all their things, and um, I think I've just played the the four three over the three two. You know the, yeah, we'll just do that. And then you can make their things not block with Ash and kill them. Nice, just crafted the three Sejuani's. Awesome. I knew they wouldn't block the Omenhawk. Alright, let's start dropping hearth guards. Make our things big. And then we'll assess her and draw a bunch of cards. Hmm. 
need just a moment. We'll see if they shoot the glory seeker or not. There you go, Pawn. You're you're at five bonus on the weekly vault so far. Awesome. Skill and grace tear your breath away. All right. Well, they're tapped out, so I mean, I could play Ash and attack with Ash, but I think it's probably better to play this Rhymefang Wolf and kill the the Karma. Brittle Steel, why couldn't I draw that last turn whenever we were just into combat? Um, uh, let's grow some more things. Make everything bigger. We got round eight. Obviously my worst case scenario is them playing uh, Yone. Yeah, it's hard to get the yeah, it is hard to get the the champ you usually don't get champions in the weekly uh rewards. Probably the last like four, five, six weekly rewards. Like I can only remember getting like one champion, maybe two champions, like ever, basically. Like and I, I always max it out at level thirteen and a lot of times I get bonus capsules. So so don't like expect champions. Um but you get tons and tons of commons, tons and tons of shards. Um, to be able to craft stuff. You got five champions in the last one? Beauty charms while claws take hold. What? Five champions? Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. That's pretty good. Averosans, stand together! Five champions? Yeah, you always get the champion wild card each week. Yeah, that's besides that's besides like the daily um you know, like the region rewards that you're getting like every single day that you're doing with that. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Ash is at four out of five. Not and ready. We can still definitely lose this. Like, we're not going to just, you know, like, this game's not over. Ezreal is really close to leveling up, and I don't know, like, this... We're looking pretty good at... Like, when you just look at, like, the board and everything, but this game's not over. Like, this game's pretty close. You're having a lot of success with Levi. Okay. So you've been liking Lee Sin? I, the times I've played Lee Sin, I haven't felt that Lee Sin has been very good. I Like, basically, all the times I've had Lee Sin, I would have rather had the other champions that you can have in Ionia and... Uh, PNZ, like for a Levi deck, like you could have, you know, Heimerdinger or Karma, um, like that kind of stuff instead. Nope. See you, Omenhawk. You did your job.
All right, so we're gonna say you can't block. And then we're going to say... Today we fight as one. You can't block. And then you are blocking my wolf. So it looks like we have an easy win here, but we'll see. Hold those... You know, hold the phone. They are one, you know, one target away from leveling up Ezreal. They don't have it though. They only had 10 mana, so it's going to be tough. They kind of need like a leveled up Karma or something like that in there. That's just so efficient. Five spots, that's it? Alright, it's going to be pretty hard to go... Oh, nice. Got that. I'm pretty hard to, to go uh, into double digits for only getting five for a win. Rewards. Wild Capsule. Ooh, upgrade, upgrade. So it's supposed to be three commons, two rares. One common upgraded to a rare, one rare upgraded to an epic. Sweet. Almost got that Demacia back. That's my last one, right? Yeah, and then I'll have I'll have level 25 of all of them after this. So just need 3,250 more XP. Where you at, Sejuani? There you are. Alright, Twisted Fortune. Miss Fate? Maybe Miss Fate. Not sure about this ca Caught in the Cold card. This could be a good Caught in the Cold matchup. Like giving, especially hand, the hand that I have, like these cards, like these aren't, no no challengers here, so giving them some other things vulnerable. Whoa! QQ! Dude, y'all get some hype in the chat. We're gonna have some sub notifications here. We got five. Gifted subs joining me and Hawkeye on the SS Hype boat. Oh, uh, let's see. You just get played. Join Liam, Valor, um, Valerian, Gnome de Gure, the Warmonger, and Cortec. Cortec. Yeah, it's a great stream tonight. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Let's see, so that gets us to sub goal number two on the day. Double digits subs today. That's been a while since we've got that. That's awesome. All right, so I'm going to update our... Uh... Why couldn't I have you last turn, Legion Drummer? Hmm. Whoa, Blade! Blade's coming through, gifted five subs. Y'all keep this hype boats go, man. There's so many hype boats in the chat and everything too. This is awesome. Um, sure. All right, you, you got this. This time, I'll let you have it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good right now, Pony. I'll let you have that. I won't, I won't play any caught in the cold or anything like that. The Dito Yatso, Naoka, um, Etch, Darth Valor, and IQ. Fienic. All joining the sub party. All right, well, let's update this. Hey, TF. How's the partner? Pretty good. Quit smoking. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I think I just let him have that. 
Good start for them, for sure. Awesome. All right, so we got update. So we just hit two sub goals. That means we are eight out of ten towards our next twelve-hour stream. Uh, ooh, I want to play that card. But I also want to double spell and go Legion Drummer, Glory Seeker. I think we'll do the double spell. But it is pretty tempting to play this Ash. Line up. Make it interesting. All right, so Show them the might of Go here, go here. This will have the quick attack, so we'll be able to take out both our champions. And I'm glad I saved the glad I'm saved the elixir of iron, so we got to do this. Oh no! They took a brittle steel from me. Ugh. That pilfer goods hit a brittle steel. I had such a good turn planned. It was it worked out so well. Anyway, PJFX, brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, PJ. Welcome to the stream. Let me move this over a little bit. There we go. Hmm. I thought I had him. I thought misfortune was gone. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Yeah, Legion drummer is kind of unstoppable. I agree. Hmm. You own what you take. I just like this, uh, like, this basically makes it really hard for them. Like, I know, like, there's there's the high upside of having, like, of saving this for, yeah, whenever we attack. Being able to Frostbite Vulnerable. But I really like the, like, if I play any of these other things, their attacks are really good. And I don't really want them to have really good attacks. This makes their attacks a lot worse. Doing four damage to Sejuani. Leave no survivors. Okay. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how yeah, it's, these plunder cards. Interesting. Interesting. That changes things. That definitely changes things. Hmm. Up there in the mountain. Perfect. That was the one I wanted to hit. Hey, 
right, ZF. How's the partner? Pretty good. It's broken. Sharpen the blades. Secure the kill. For glory, you are mine. Seems like they also have a never ending stream of cards. Just gonna put this here. To victory! Gather round, gather round! A real battle! So I'm going down to four. Down to six. They're coming high. I feel like if they had a one damage source, they definitely would have attacked with the Twisted Fate also. So them not attack not not attacking with the Twisted Fate tells me that I have a safe block. on the black market merchant we're gonna play in the t yeah whenever we do a 12 hour stream basically I played 10 decks that's the 12 hour stream looks like as I do I do 10 decks my word. only the finest serve so we're at 15. I have 14 damage. Can they call me a shark? What? What is this shark? I still have the man to play that thing? Totally not dead. Totally got this. Not dead. These Bilgewater cards are really good. I think they're pretty underplayed. I like the I like the opponent's deck quite a bit. Just stealing my stuff. Like that brittle steel they had, or that one mana brittle steel was huge. Like that that honestly probably won them that game. Like that that completely changed the game. That brittle steel they stole from me. Oh, no, I need to delete that 12 hour stream on Saturday. Sorry. That was from a while ago. That was from before the last one. I thought I did delete that before, but I guess not. There we go. Yes, yeah, so we need nine more nine more subs for a 12 hour stream. Alright, Twisted Fate Gangplank. Yeah, it is. It is hard to play around your own cards, right? Yeah, you got to like think about like what are they going to have in their deck and play around that, and then also play around the stuff in your deck. Um, it's difficult. What if I was to, like so? Glory Seeker is a 
pretty good removal spell, but I wonder if I was supposed to mulligan it because of Make It Rain and Twisted Fate. Like, one toughness things not being as valuable. We saw that, like, that, that other game, my opponent getting a 2-for-1 on my Omen Hawk and Iceville Archer. Almost always I'd be playing Ash right now, but honestly playing Ash into Twisted Fate is actually kind of bad. You see, I if I play Ash, they go... Um, Now they have Make It Rain. Oh, Parlay. I mean, they may have Make It Rain also. Wow, they do. See, if I would have gone Ash, they would have stunned the Ash and put it down to one toughness. And then, they, then they get this thing in for free. What a turn. What a turn. I will play my part. Hmm. That was pretty good. Yeah, Pilfered Goods is amazing. They need to speed up the animation on that card, though. They need to just, you know, draw the two cards. Not draw, wait four seconds, draw again. But yeah, these Twisted Fate decks have looked awesome these last two games. Hmm... So Sejuani or Ash plus Glory Seeker. Five out of eight already? I mean, I, I can't beat these elusives, so it's like... I have to challenge them. Oh, thanks, checkmate. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Hey, new loco, doing good. Alright, still get the overwhelm in. Nope. No overwhelm. Thanks, Trekmate. Nine. Night falls. Within my grasp. Stand and defend. Leave no survivors. This is really my only option. Should be game. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Oops. 
if I had if I had more frostbite. But no, yeah, they they just cast their things. Soak it in. I will unite the Freljord. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. Wow. There's Wani with the attitude. So this is, we're going to make that not block. My aim is true. This is just. It's just not going to work out. Hey, Gucci getting the sub. Thank you, Blade. All right, makes a 17 on the day. All right, same deck. Let's see. Looks like our one toughness things have really been have really been hurting us. You know, um, so you know maybe I'm not supposed to keep Omen Hawk, but I like how Omen Hawk can pump up some other stuff. You know, like the Glory Seekers and the the Legion, or not the Legion drummer, but the. Uh, the icer, the whatever the name of that card is, Avros and something the three one the frostbites. Between twisted fates doing one damage to everything and uh, that card's gonna be a problem. Now now make rain does two damage to everything, or twisted fate does two damage. Twisted Fate is just super, super good. All hands on deck. And hopefully my opponent just doesn't have Twisted Fate this game. For the next kill. That would be great. If we play against an opponent who doesn't draw tw Twisted Fate. Archer, there you go. Icefield Archer, that's the name of the card. All right, let's play Ash. Yeah, please don't kill Ash. Yeah, so, so we made some switch games. Switched over to Legends of Runeterra. All right, so wait, you're going to challenge this. You're going to challenge this. And you can just chill right here. I want... I was going to kill, like, this... Uh, Bark Beast first. This could end up being really bad for me, couldn't it? If they just play... Yeah, they just play Warning Shot, and this is really bad for me. Yeah, that was dumb. Because then that dies, and now that grows. Basically, I wanted to kill this before it grew. That was dumb. Hey, Swear Slow, getting the gifted sub. Thank you, Blade, keeping it going. Very slow, Mike. Welcome to the channel. Parley, 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 parley. So it's. Hmm. 
Kind of want to play this Trifarian Assessor. No, we just play Ramping Wolf. Take the wolf. No, not the elixir of iron. I'm ready. I'm going to pieces. I liked that elixir of iron. Hmm. Attack was too good. I, I don't really care about the fizz. Please don't kill my five ones just for a little bit. Let me play the successor first. Line up. Good. Got some connection issues, it looks like. We are reconnecting. Hey, KJ, what's up? Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Stop drawing Twisted Fate. Uh. Is Twisted Fate actually the best champion in the game? Our strength is yours. Victory requires a sharp blade. Who cares if Twisted Fate's easy to kill? That doesn't matter one bit. It's, it's Enter the Battlefield effect is incredible. You get to choose which one of these you want to do. Like, all three are amazing. And then it it's like something your opponent has to... Yes, it's easy to kill, but then they, ha they have to kill it. So it's, it's always a two for one. Or more. At least. It's like, that's the bare minimum is two for one. But it's always that. Like, even karma isn't always a two for one. Hey, what's up? Cursex. Thanks, thanks, Blade. Thanks for continued gift and subs out. That is awesome, Blade. Thank you so much. Give us 19 subs on the day. Why'd you drop Culling Strike and the Reckoning from this deck? Never, like I never played. Well, like, like I did have Culling Strike before. I, I changed out Culling, like Caught in the Cold instead of the Culling Strikes uh, before. Um, I don't know. Reckoning is just very hit or miss. Like there, are, there's definitely times where Reckoning's amazing, but there's there's so many times where Reckoning just doesn't do anything. 
And Reckoning's already... Like, it's... It's good against the type of decks that traditionally this deck has been good against. I feel like they have a shark. I feel like they have a shark. No, I'm not I'm not trying to level up Sejuani. That, that doesn't matter. It's not important. So that's what they had, not a shark. They definitely had something that they wanted to, that they really wanted to turn on plunder. Wait. I guess yeah, if they had that, they could have just played that. Ugh. Gross. Yeah, now they definitely have a shark. Wow. Okay. Traded up with the shark, also got rid of like some some things that could be elusive that would turn on plunder for them easily enough. Yeah, it's not the best when you're in top deck mode to draw your one drop. Opponents think of the same thing though. This is like the closest I've ever come to leveling up Sejuani. <laughs> no! Oh gosh, that card is great. Bilgewater's been looking good these three games. I keep step with the heartbeat of Nazis. What's up, Ansel? Ooh, Ash has leveled up. And Blade coming through big. My selection speaks for itself. Getting us to our sub goal. Yet again, looks like we're going to have a 12-hour stream coming up. Thank you so much, Blade. That, that's so, so kind. And we've got a bunch, bunch of new subs. So the new subs, you can get your emotes in the chat, get all these hype votes in the chat, and everybody else bring them. Thank you so much. How'd they turn on Plunder? Warning shot, I guess? Well, 
Well, that was perfect for them. Just ignore my huge creature and kill all the small things. All right, so I'll have to, I'll have to figure out which day I'm doing this, the 12 hour stream. We'll do it sometime this week. Man, Bilgewater looking good. They're just kind of out grinding me, you know, like they're, they're just getting more value than me. Twisted Fate, make it rain. That combo has just been annihilating my creatures and just getting a bunch of two for ones. And then, you know, then pair it with like Yordle Grifter and the, like the elusive things that have just been drawing cards. Pilfered Goods being two for one, Black Market Merchant two for one. Just all the, like everything's a two for one. And they're just out grinding me. And then, yeah, then, and then uh, slam down the shark at the top end. Yeah, Twist Twist of Fate's your favorite card. Yeah, that's a good that's a good one, that's for sure. Let's keep this. I'm gonna keep caught in the cold. Yeah, he's so versatile. That's what I've been saying since since the since the preview stream, you know, whenever we did the preview stream and talked about every single card. I was really, really high on Twisted Fate. And I think for good reason. Awesome, thanks Reaper. Welcome. Welcome on over from YouTube. Yeah, we're gonna play some Karma Lux up next. The world awaits forward. Come on, three drop. The toads. I don't need a cast caught in the cold right now. We'll wait. Be patient. It's a virtue. Gonna kill the Maokai this turn. That's the plan, at least. Rude. Still the plan. Stand together. Plan hasn't changed. Sorry. They're down to three cards. Wonder if we can, wonder if we can start matching the size of those things with all these hearth guards. No. So I just used a brittle steel to save them from drawing a random card. A traded brittle steel for a random card. Pain is nothing. How close are we over here? Six cards away from deep. And too deep. We're about to draw a bunch of cards with the Trifarian Assessor next turn. Stand and fight. <sighs> I 
What are we doing with this attack? Is this worth it? I kind of feel like the answer is no, not worth it. Like they they chump block with the two thorny toads, and then and then they're deep. I feel like that's not worth it. Okay, well, just playing that card. That card is not very good. Alright, so deep anyway. All good. So we're looking for like another Harsh Winds. So my goal is to just kill them next turn and just do 20 and just say all this stuff can't block. So we want like Harsh Winds, Brittle Steel, that kind of stuff. No! No! It's based on toughness. Well, that ruins plans. Only the finest serve. Why are you crying? You're not dead now. You were definitely dead before. For the Empire! Hmm. Now we gotta find another Ash. Draw Ash. Man, if we had Ash, we had this set up. I wish I would have just played the Assessor first. Hmm. All right, have, have a good night, Blade. Thank you so much for gifting out all those subs. That was very kind. Thank you, Blade. Just beat Burn with this deck on turn three. Nice. Oh, now what do we do? Bring me chaos. A true Felgorian welcome. Now what do we do for a Klondike bar? Ten cards left in the library. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, if all the Toads die, then they play Nautilus and bring back everything that gets, uh... That gets tossed. If I can... If they play Nautilus first, then we can kill all these Toads and mill, then mill them out. We can hold on just fine. Stand and defend. <laughs> Set twenty one out of five. Battle toads. It's not 
worth it. Stay back. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Victory requires a sharp blade. All right, nine cards left. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. So we know they have two sea monsters in hand because the two Joel Hunters. So we know out of the three cards, two of them are sea monsters. Eight cards left. This is really weird. The onus is on them to do something. I'm at 20 cards. They're at 7 cards. My light for Avarosa. Basically, do I need to save Harsh Winds for, like, Nautilus? And cards like that, though. Probably. Better than Save the host. My best draw is another Trifarian Assessor or Ash. Like those are the two cards that I want to draw, Trifarian Assessor or Ash. They got some treasures. Ash or Assessor? No. Oh. Hmm. All right, six cards left. I guess I'm kind of dead now. My whole plan didn't really revert around Maokai, because now I don't have any Ash, because that gets rid of all my champions. Man, why do they have to have that Devour to kill my 7-5 Ash that turn? Yeah. I like Basically, my plan is like waiting for them to play Nau Nautilus first and then get rid of all these. I could get lucky and they don't have any. Um. Today we fight as one. To victory. Maybe they don't have any champions left in their deck and they're all in their hand. And we just mill out six cards. <laughs> if they block with all the toads. Okay, so that's probably not the case. They wouldn't block with all the toads. Hey, Ryavale, good afternoon.
interesting game that we played. Obviously how it played out, I played it incorrectly. If we would have drawn an Ash and then just be able to make their things unblockable, or like we make those things not be able to block, we would have won and would have looked like I did the right decision, but we didn't have an Ash and so we lost. But interesting game. Basically refilled nothing anyway. The biggest thing I regret from this game was if I would have just led with, um, I would have just led with Assessor instead of Ash. You know, I played Ash first because it's another thing that draws cards off Assessor, and then like at turn eight, we're talking about. If I would have played Assessor first, I would have drawn, you know, four instead of five, but then they probably would have devout they, they would have like devoured my Sejuani and then I would have played Ash and we would have won the game the next turn you know like they have that one removal spell and unfortunately their one removal spell got my one card that was going to win me the game um so that's too bad um all right, so our deck didn't do so well. We really struggled against Bilgewater. Every single one of our losses were the Bilgewater decks. I do like that. Uh, I usually like that Sea Monster matchup. That's the first time I've lost to Sea Monsters, but that game was just pretty weird. And they did have an they did have like you know that abundance of Toads that made the game weird. Obviously, hindsight, um, and you know maybe some of y'all watching later on YouTube are yelling at the screen, just attack, 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 and yeah, go hindsight. Um, attacking would have been better, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we would have just won if we would have just been um, crashing our allies against the waves the whole time. So yeah, how do, so basically, what's the answer to Bilgewater? You know, like obviously, we, like we looked pretty weak against Bilgewater. You know, like playing three ones and five ones, and and even just some of these smaller creatures. Like their deck just has too many two for ones for us. And what's the answer there? Is is I guess try to get more two for ones our way as well. The the weakest card in the decks are are the Cotton the Colds, and so if we want to replace Cotton the Cold. As I talked about at uh, talked about before, was be maybe a third Sejuani. I am really interested to, I'm really interested in Armored Tusk Rider also. This is a pretty interesting card, and if we think about basically everything that uh, Bilgewater was doing, like they they didn't have like they have like the the Riptide Rex that deals damage to this, and that's about it. It's like the only thing that would, would have dealt damage to the Tusk Rider. Something to something to think about. Um, of course, you know, Intimidating Roar also. Uh, or not, not Intimidating Roar, so sorry. Wrong card, wrong card. Uh, Reckoning, there we go. Reckoning also, That's that's been an, an option for these kind of decks. And, and this is good against... Like those Bilgewater decks that we were facing, this this would have been really good against them. Um, but I don't know like how good it is against so much of the format. But yeah, against Bilgewater, this is really good because they have so many 2-2s two that are 2-for-1s. Two that You just want to get rid of all of those 2-2s two kind of thing. So I could definitely see 
playing Reckoning, you know, like instead of Caught in the Cold, playing a, um, you know, playing a like a third Sejuani and a Reckoning. I could see doing that. I could see adding an Armored Tusk Rider in, you know, like that's, those are basically two flex slots that you could have. Um, you know, you could play two Reckonings instead of two Caught in the Colds. Uh, definitely some flex slots of like what you think like what you expect to play because the problem with this card is there's there's also a whole lot of control in the metagame that just wasn't what we were facing this card is really pretty dead against control like it's real dead against control uh, or caught in the cold you can still make one of their champions vulnerable and everything like that I do need to build around armored tusk rider one one kind of thing on my uh, like to-do list of decks to play is building a bigger Noxus. Um, I think I'm going to probably do that tomorrow, actually. But um, anyway, maybe like one Reckoning and another Sejuani. Uh, I can just do this. Yeah. So there we go. Sejuani Frostbite. Um, yeah, those of y'all watching on YouTube, let me know what you think of uh, if you have any other ideas besides those, like for the for the Bilgewater matchups. Because yeah, those Twisted Fight Fate, eh, those Twisted Fate Bilgewater decks have too many two for ones. Originally, like if you remember, like two weeks ago, whenever I uh, played this deck and uh, you know wrote that it's maybe the best deck right now, that was whenever, um, that's that's whenever the ranks were overwhelmed with Demacia and everybody playing Demacia and Grizzled Ranger. And I love this deck against Demacia. Uh, but the metagames changed them, and now, now people are realizing how good Bilgewater and Twisted Fate are. And I'm not sure exactly what we want to do there. All right, but that's it here for Sejuani Frostbite. Um, also, for those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button as well, and of course, those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.